You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The Secretary General of the Cambodian Red Cross, Ms. Pum Chantini, has reminded Kampong Chenang Province branch of the Cambodian Red Cross to implement the recommendations of the President, First Lady Bunalani Hun Sen, in order to maintain the organization's reputation as the assistant to public authorities in the field of humanitarian affairs. EAC News reporter Dashana Guchin has more. Speaking on the occasion of World Red Cross and Red Crescent Day, which was earlier this year on 8th May 2022, and the recognition of the Kampong Chenang Honorary Branch and the Branch Committee of the Fifth Mandate on Wednesday morning, 10th August, Secretary General Pum Chantani represented the Cambodian Red Cross President, First Lady Bunrani Hun Sen, and expressed her praise and appreciation over the spirit and responsibility of the Branch Honor Committee and the Branch Committee of the Cambodian Red Cross in Kampong Chenang. She recalled the recommendations made by the president and instructed the provincial branch to initiate ideas to find sources of income and develop strategies to increase revenue. She said the branch must know how to monitor its income, expenditure and property management and must urgently report to the branch committee if there are any irregularities in the branch's financial management. They must also assist the branch committee in ensuring transparency in financial transactions and report the financial work at every branch committee meeting. In addition, she said the branch honorary committee shall assist the branch committee in strengthening the implementation of the various rules of the National Association, continue to work hard in the spirit of group solidarity, implement the agreement and assist each other between the branch committee and the executive branch committee. They must also continue to develop community capacity building institutions to provide humanitarian services to the most vulnerable people according to the actual needs of the operation and especially maintain the reputation of the Cambodian Red Cross as an assistant to the public authorities in the field of humanitarian affairs. Secretary General Pum Chantani announced four resolutions recognizing the chairperson to appoint a new branch honorary committee and branch committee, an honorary sub-branch and sub-branch committee of the Cambodian Red Cross in Kampong Chenang Province of the fifth mandate. Okrabun was appointed as the chairman of the branch honorary committee, Sun Sovanarat as the chairman of the branch committee, and Bon Sopi as the permanent vice president of the Kampong Chenang branch for the fifth mandate. The chairman of the branch committee, Sun Sovanarat, said he is determined to adhere to the principles of the International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement to make the branch work well, maintain unity, and lead the branch executive team to perform its duties in accordance with the strategy of the Red Cross. This includes coming up with ideas to raise funds for the branch's humanitarian work, guiding the sub-branch to work hard to strengthen and expand local volunteers' participation in community health education activities regarding COVID-19, continuing to strengthen and expand the youth force of the Cambodian Red Cross and other educational institutions, acting as a model in humanitarian work in society, and continuing to cooperate well with authorities, departments, institutions, national and international organizations to reduce the suffering of victims. The Cambodian Red Cross, established on 18th February 1955, is the largest humanitarian organization in Cambodia, assisting the government in humanitarian work to alleviate the suffering of vulnerable people. During the Khmer Rouge regime of 1975 to 1979, all activities of the Cambodian Red Cross were completely suspended. Since the organization's unification in 1994, the Cambodian Red Cross has undergone many stages of institutional development and reform. The Cambodian Red Cross has been under the presidency of First Lady Bunrani Hun Sen since 1998. Darshana Gauchen, EAC News.